Mm -hmm. Alright guys, how you do what? Wait. Gear and beer, baby. Gear and beer. <laughs> I swear, y'all, I'm not an alcoholic. I just like to drink beer and talk about hunting gear. So, we're going to talk about something today. Um, foot comfort, okay? So, the last video that we did, I think it was kind of fitting. We talked about a solution to, you know, that discomfort you get sitting in a saddle. People talk about straps digging into them or getting hip pinched and stuff like that. And a sling design, uh, like you get with the tree hopper recon sling, that really solves that problem. Um, the other issue that you have is pressure on your feet, right? Now, this is something that I guess has become more relevant to me over the past couple of years because used to I work jobs where I was on my feet 40 to 60 hours a week. I don't do that anymore. I got an office job. So... My feeties ain't as tough as they used to be, and they're usually already pretty wore out when I walk a couple miles back in the woods. So, um, we'll kind of talk about the evolution of how I have approached foot comfort, and we're going to talk about a new piece of gear that Mark sent us from over at Treehopper. So, this is, hands down, my favorite climbing slash platform, right? I like to climb on carbon fiber bolts, and I like to stand on grade eight bolts, okay? And these roll up nice and neat, and you can see this isn't just for my enjoyment, this is to give you guys a sense of scale, okay? You can see that roll right there ain't as big as a beer can hardly. And then you're putting them in a tree with this, which is the tree hopper folding mini, we've talked about it. It's just a folding hand drill with a really good little bit and a collar that you hold on to and you turn it and it spins, the handle spins, it folds up, goes into your house, goes in your pockets. Ain't much bigger than like a buck 110, right, pocket knife. Super, super awesome. But, if you're doing little short sets, standing on something like this, it's fine, right? You can make that happen. Um, especially if you know how to use your saddle and you have a good saddle and you know to, you know, shit, sit with a lower tether and put your thighs at a 45 and all that, which we talk about in other videos, you can get by on something like this. And it's real nice because it's, you know, big as a pencil. You can get by with about three of those up at level. People that like to swing around a tree, they use five or six. Me, I finally, I got lazy and I just started using three, one for my left foot, one for my right foot, and one straight in the middle to help me position. Real easy, real quick way up a tree. Um, can't beat it as long as you can legally drill on public land. But, you start making all day sits. Or you start doing like I'll do during the rut and you start making three or four all day sits back to back. Or you hunt for a week. Or like you go to Portland and I was there for four days. You go to a, a prominent, you know, you go on a vacation style hunt where you really want to give it all that you have. That gets old after a little while. Um, so, you can do like like Dano's scroll steps, they're three quarters of an inch. That's gonna give you a little bit more than that. That right there, if I had to guess, is maybe half an inch of surface area, less because it's rounded, right? Not a lot of surface area for your feet. Um, so what I eventually did was I kind of I didn't want to, but I finally figured just for the all day sets, I'd go with the platform. And I've enjoyed hunting off of the platform. Um I think if you're going to go with the platform, go big or go home, right? Give yourself enough space that you can stand and spread your feet. Unless you like to stand, you know, just stand there with your ankles touching for a little bit. Don't get a small platform, right? It's not, not going to work. At least not in the deep south where it gets warm. You kind of got to air the boys out, you know what I'm saying? So this platform's been great. Um, it was expensive. Now they've come out with the Mission. That's a little cheaper. It's got about the same dimensions. There's a reason that Brad Cooner was making the Assassin back in the day, and there's a reason that they came out with the small platforms and everybody wanted a bigger one, right? I'm not a super, people are like, oh, big platforms for big dudes. I'm not a super big dude. I still like to be able to spread my feet when I stand. And I can put my size 11s up on here. You can put your size 13s or whatever big pair of clod kickers you got. You can put it on there and you can be comfortable, but it weighs like five pounds. Um... And that's kind of a bummer. And it's a big piece of metal that you have to take through the woods. And I hunted with it and I liked 
Every time I took it out, I'm like, I like standing on it. I don't like carrying it. Um, so I ordered something from Mark. He's been selling these for a while. All right. And these are bolt pedals. And this is basically just a piece of aluminum, this machine. You can kind of see in the light, it's got a little tread to it. And these basically turn your bolt, okay, into something with about an inch of surface area. They're about an inch, inch and a half, whatever. I, I stacked them up next to a Mara step. I should have kept one for this video. But it gives you just more surface area for your feet. And what's nice is unlike a lot of stuff, when you put your feet on there, if you stand straight up, it's flat. You rotate like that, it's at an angle, so you're always getting, you're never standing on the edge of it. You're always getting the full support. Um, that's quite a bit more comfortable. But I ordered this, and I ordered a tree hopper sling. And Mark recognized my order because we've done some business in the past. It's a funny story. The way me and Mark kind of started talking was I actually kind of trashed his original tree hopper drill because um, it had some problems with it. And then he insisted on making those problems right and we got to talking more and I realized that he really kind of wanted to keep his finger on the pulse of the saddle hunting industry and he wanted to make good gear like it didn't it didn't bother him that I said that his gear was bad it bothered him that it, that his gear might be bad um, and he wanted to fix that and I had a lot of respect for it so we kind of started talking so he saw my name he's like hey I saw that you ordered these he's like I got a prototype I can send you something that I'm looking at releasing and I want to write by you I'm like, well, yeah, definitely send it to me. And, uh, you know, I make videos. Like, is that going to help? Is that going to hurt? He's like, no, no, no. He's like, go ahead and do a video on it so people think about it. So, you know, this is nice, right? This is a good kind of a compromise between this, which is a joy to carry in pack, and this, which is a joy to sit on, right? And this is kind of in between. But Mark, being the clever man that he is, he got thinking about it, and he come out with this. Now that, that's nice. That's about the same dimensions as a bicycle pedal, okay? You can see compared to my hand, all right, beer can. You got three, four inches, I'm guessing, all right? That's pretty nice. Um, it's a little different, this one, to get it in, you gotta drill a you know a hole and it just slides in. Okay. Well, this one we made it and it was a little bit bigger. This is aluminum as well. And this is actually when you have them both in your hand, there's really there's not much difference. Um, I haven't got an official weight on them yet. Life's been kind of crazy since Hurricane Sally went through, so I haven't had as much time to test these as I wish. But I've made a couple of evening sets on them hog hunting. Um, these are very very nice because you can see you can take two of them. They're not very big. You add them in with your bolts. You add them in with your drill. That's everything. Okay. And what's cool about these is you actually, you drill your hole. Okay. So you're not trying to screw that in. Now these are actually threaded. Um, if my memory serves me correctly, and I'm 99% sure it does. Uh, he had these done at the Cranford factory. And those of you who know anything about screw-on steps know that Cranford makes about the best screw-in step in the industry, okay? They actually will screw into a tree versus the Amara steps that don't screw into a tree. Um, so he had these done. These have a good tip on them. You could screw them in by hand if you wanted to. If you don't want to do the drill thing, you could screw these into a tree by hand. But what they're made to do is if you kind of look at them, I don't know if you can see against the wall, they kind of have a taper. They flare out at the base. And what you do is you take this. And it's a lot easier to drill a hole with this than it is to even screw in a Cranford step. I know I've had Cranfords and screwing in a Cranford step versus using the drill, you're gonna make a lot more revolutions with this, but you have more leverage and a better grip. You'll make more revolutions, but there's almost no effort required. You're not sitting there pressing and, like you press a little bit at first, but once that, that little worm screw right there starts biting, it just drags it in the tree. There's no effort required. So you drill your hole with this. Just like you would if you were using this or this. But then it doesn't quite bottom out. And you can push it in and you screw it just that little bit. And that's kind of to keep you from kicking it out of the tree or anything. And it gives a little resistance 
So that instead of like you kicking it and it just free spinning, it's in there. But it can still, when you have it in a tree, if you want to stand on it like that or like that, or if you swap over the other side of the tree and you have it like that, however you put pressure on it, it'll pivot, but then it'll stay there. And if you kick it, it's got enough pressure that it won't spin. These are very slick. Um, I think this is probably the coolest saddle hunting product I've seen in the past year or so. Um, seems like the industry kind of slowed down and it turned into just a bunch of Me Too stuff. You know, I got a platform. Oh, Me Too. You know, I got a dual panel saddle. Oh, Me Too. You know, mine has pleats in it. Me Too. Um, you know, it just kind of slowed down. There's a lot more choices than there used to be for people with sticks and stuff like that. But nothing really new came out. This is new. This is a, a, a solid concept, I think. Um, and that... I haven't made all day sit on it, I'm not gonna lie to you. But I have I've made several several hour sits and uh that's pretty comfortable. You got a little bit of traction on there. I don't know if you can see you got them little bumps. It's kind of flat across the surface. Real good traction. They don't hold mud. Um this one I know it looks a little bit rusted, but I had both of them actually out in the yard. I put one in a tree and left it, and I put this one just just on sitting on my porch rail and left it just to see how bad they'd rust and they rusted like I figured but then they kind of stabilized the aluminum on them is not going to rust obviously um but yeah that's a lot of surface area for a pair of you know you figure that that's a lot better it's like you know you can sit on bicycle pedals all day you know you can make a 30 mile bicycle run and that's not a big deal but if you were sitting there trying to pedal on that you'd give up after 30 minutes on it you'd, your feet would hurt so this is very comfortable um just the way the whole package works like i'm big on stuff being a package and i'll give lone wolf custom gear that this and the mini sticks works really well as a package you know but then if you got the tree hopper drill and you got some bolts and you got your pedals and you got your Anderson tree sling. That's a pretty good package too. That works really, really well. Um, all the mark stuff, just smart, very smart stuff. Um, I do want to clarify. I'm not endorsed by Mark. I'm not sponsored by Mark. Um, Mark, Mark, don't give me no money. He has sent me some prototypes. Um, I have told him I like some of them. I've told him some of them are not that great. That's why I like working with Mark. That's why I try to promote Mark stuff because Mark listens and he tries to make the stuff that nobody else is making that actually solves the problem this has been ongoing i have seen a lot of people on the forum talk about diy and something like this out of bicycle pedals or cutting a piece of two by four and drilling a hole in it and everything but this is just a nice slick pre-made product that should last you forever and it, and it solves that issue and you get to have the compactness that goes with your bolts and your drill right but you get to have most if not all of the comfort that comes with a big platform like this um, i am really really looking forward to throwing this in a fanny pack along with my tether and my lineman's belt and just strapping that anderson on and hunting some spots where you got to go way back into some thick stuff and you don't really want to carry sticks in a platform but once you get there, you kind of want to stay all day because you don't know that big buck might come walking at it about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, you know, them type places. I'm looking forward to it. So uh, if you get a chance, head on over to treehopperllc.com. Check out your stuff. You can also do me a favor. And if, uh, if you need clothes to wear, if people frown upon you walking around naked, and people really, really hate to see me naked for some reason. So I fix that with a little bit of hang time gear. You can go and you can help Jeff out. He's a moderator at SaddleHunter.com. Good guy, small business owner. And you can uh, show the world that you're a saddle hunter, right? Saddle hunters, the CrossFit vegans of the hunting world. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.